Everybody comfortable? Let's go, Mr. Andrade. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> So you lost 12 minutes already, am I correct? Yes. So we got to pay him back somehow. <laughs> Search for Mikdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, Dun chick at the end of a sentence means what? Anybody? Uh, is it the same? same? It's it means same normally it means they're synonyms or, uh, or they're the same, same thing. So it's not a single meaning or something like that. Mm -hmm. It just means uh, they, mean the same they all mean the same thing. Mm, you know, you can say they all mean the same thing. That's not bad. How many elements we have here that mean the same thing? So three. three. These three things mean the same thing. Now let's go back and find the three. Mick, uh, Adam, I. the I, mm. and mm. the Mickey Wumble. The power. I, I sense power. And the Mickey come. Uh, I call it category. Okay, the 18 categories. Yeah, yeah, the datu. It's not a good word for it, I'm sorry. Mm, that's a long story. Okay. In the heart center, don't you just translate it as the thing to see? Maybe, but when you say the 18 com, you got to have a word there. Um, by the way, if you want a lecture about com, it, it can also mean your propensities, right. which is what it means in DCI level two. There's a long discussion to come. All your uh, mm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it also means a section of a country, so Eastern Tibet is called Kham. Uh, and uh, Kham Kise, anybody know? A little piece of food. Yeah. There's a there's a category in the Abhidharma called biteable food. Biteable. <laughs> 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 Something that you can eat in comes. So cum means a a bite, a mouth, mouthful. So some kinds. There's four kinds of sustenance. One of them is cum kase, which means physical food, biteable food. And then there's sleep, right, right. hope, and concentration. focus, concentration. Which means if you interrupt someone constantly, you're actually hurting their body. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it in, in, in my work, yeah. my, my office. We, someone you interrupt constantly, they get sick after a while. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, you said the part of you that sees the food. The part of you that sees. Say again? No. Did I? Yeah, in the heart center. There's no part of you that sees. There's mm -hmm. part of you mm -hmm. what you're seeing. Good translation. <laughs> appropriate for short, sweet things. Okay, but not for a long discussion. Okay. Mi kuang la yin la? Mi kuang la It's We can divide the, uh, Good. the eye power into Good. Uh, two. Two types. There is an exact uh, yeah. in the division into two. Now, then means, uh, now, 
learn something. Okay, R T E N means the thing which is the foundation. The table is the ten in this case. The thing which is resting on the table is, is spelled B R T E N. So if it has a B, it's the thing resting on upon another thing. If it doesn't have a B, it's the thing supporting the other thing. And it's very confusing. You want to get more confused? Yeah, yeah. Do I? Wait a minute. In Vinaya language, then means the the person taking the vow. Oh, that's right. Okay. I think it's R T E N. Okay. It's the one taking the vow. And we just had it downstairs. Yeah. Then meaning what? The the person who who makes the karma. Right can be heavy duty or not, depending on whether they have vows or not. And then Shing, yeah, you have this uh, deal. Shing. Yeah. Shing. 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 Is that related to Shi? Could be. Could be. I didn't think about yeah, it. Yeah, Could yeah, be. Yeah, like anyway, it's a low tone. Like a film. Shing. Yeah, Shing. So Shing can mean the person towards whom you do a karma, <coughs> or it can mean the field in which you plant seeds. Okay. And Xing is wood or tree. So you've got to be careful when you're translating. It could be wood, finished wood, or trees. Is it sh sh Xing? Xing for low time is that paradise? Oh, yeah, exactly. Paradise is also called low. Xing. Xing. So okay. Then, so I'm not going to translate it for you. I just want you to look at it. Mm -hmm. He's going to explain it. And then we'll go back and decide on a word. OK. OK. So there's Tenche. Uh, Power of the eye, <coughs> and there's ten sung power of the eye. Ni Okay, there's those two. Okay. The power of the eye, which is the faculty of of sight, which according to Buddhist text is contained in the cells at the back of the eyeball. Uh, what, what would you call that? The there's a word optic Not nerve. The ocular. Optic, optic nerve. Okay. The optic nerve. Uh, so anyway, he's going to divide it into two. He gave them weird names. Let's go see what they are, and then let's go back and translate the weird names. Okay? So sometimes you have to do provisional. Provisionally, you decide not to decide. Okay? Then uh, Che, Ki Mik Wang, the power of the eye, which is Ten Che, Shak to Yunde, we can describe it. So his whole book is in the form of a debate. Right? Mm -hmm. it, it is dis it is set forthable mm -hmm. because translate carpal uh, because white and blue yeah good are from the same don't forget mumbo can spread over to green sometimes but we're going to use uh, blue yeah. like okay. munse means green vegetables anyway here we go mumbo but here it's going to be blue okay white uh, and blue la sopa um, come from the same group that we can see the same groups of things that we can see uh, well, it just means colors such as yeah. white and blue. Uh, this should be Tong Wei. This is the so far. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Wei. Okay, oops. Okay, it should be Wei. Ah, yeah. Okay. Tong Wei, Mi Guang De Yin Beecher. So, Che means possessing, B C A S. Mm -hmm. A basis. Possessing a foundation eye power, mm -hmm. an example is the eye that's looking at colors like white or blue. So you can translate you can translate that like as colors like white or blue. Mm. It's got a lot of banana in it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what's ten sung? What's sung mean by the way, anybody? Uh, it means equivalent. Okay, so uh, why it's called equivalent basis? This one's okay. This one I can di I can digest. Uh, an eye power, which has a basis, is one which is resting on colors such as white or blue. Okay, that's okay, but then soon. I can tell you what it is. Okay? Why? Because ni lope kaki mi wandi in nature. 
It was ni. It's not. It's not the number two, which ends in s. So listen, ni. Number two, ni. Sleep. Ni is sleep. Yeah, except this is high tone because it has a prefix now. Ni. Ni. Mm-hmm. Ni lok means to sleep. <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, it's the verb to sleep. Ni is the noun for sleep. Ni lok means to sleep. Okay. That's dope. Yeah, it does. But, uh, well, if you really want to know, flat things which are flipped on a, on a flat surface are called lok. Pancakes, you lok. Okay. I think it comes from that, but I'm not guessing. Uh, <laughs> okay, so ni lok, anyway, it means to, to be sleeping. So in the act of sleeping, mm -hmm. while you're sleeping, cup means during that occasion, mm -hmm. while you're sleeping, the mik wong. Yeah. Now, <laughs> that's ten sung okay. when you see blue or white in a dream. And pen che means you see white or blue out on the table. Now you, now you give me a translation. Uh, it's nasty, nasty, nasty. <laughs> Chen means having. Sung means equivalent. Having the equivalent of a dream? And I don't know. You see, <laughs> uh, I'll give you another meaning of Sung which may be relevant and it may be irrelevant here. D anybody know Sung Den Nambanga? Sung Den Nambanga. Very famous. You're close, you're in the right room. Qualities of the mind which do not overlap or cannot be handled at the same time? Uh, Functions of the mind? It's called linked. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like to translate it as linked, and it took me a couple of years to come up with this translation, linked. But it means uh, the main mind yeah. and the mental function are linked in five different ways. A mental function, like anger, jealousy, love, compassion, intelligence, is tsung den with tsosem. What's tsosem? The main mind. Yeah, main mind, main consciousness. We, they are so we did. Uh, they are linked in five different ways. Somebody give <laughs> same object, okay? When you're angry at your husband, your anger is perceiving the same thing as the main mind is perceiving, which is the husband. You see what I mean? So the mental function that's, that's, that's cranking in the mind as the mind perceives the husband is, is also looking at the same object. They are dutsu. Same time. Yeah, their duration. When you, when you stop looking at your husband and look at your dog, uh, both, both end at the same moment. Uh, so they are linked as far as duration. duration. Mm -hmm. I can never get all of them in one. <laughs> okay. There's namba. Type. Uh, namba means uh, aspect. aspect. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, this is a hard one. But uh, if you're upset, that will infect both states equally. The main mind will feel this 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 east and uh, and the anger will also feel this east there's a there's a coloring of the mind mm -hmm. that's it that third one is very difficult mm -hmm. it's very difficult to define okay mm -hmm. but the coloring is equal the coloring is linked the coloring is shared the main mind is colored and the and the feelings are colored okay at the same time they are zechik one, one, they're the same, the same thing, same essence. Mental stuff. Neither one is neither physical, neither one is Non Neither Concept. <laughs> yeah, neither one is concept. Yeah. Uh, they are both uh, <laughs> mental stuff. <laughs> Their stuff is the same. Yeah. Zechik and Tenchik. Oh, I got all of them. I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> they are resting on the same sense power to do their thing. Okay, the anger is, is resting on the eyeball to be able to see the husband to be upset at. And the main mind is also resting on the eyeball. Uh, they have the same uh, support. 
Right. So they're, they're, using the, they're using the same faculty to contact the outside world. Okay, those are the five. So some Den, in the study of Buddhist psychology, says that the, the mind is always linked in five ways, or equivalent in five ways, to, or, or the same in five ways to the mental functions. It may be relevant here, it may not. <laughs> I'm just saying that. And, and, you know, if we had time and we were sitting here by ourselves, we could go, I'll show you something cool, and we're not going to find anything. I'll bet you a dollar. Uh, but uh, you could look up Ten Sum, okay, followed by the word She. But actually, an S requires an S. Or maybe some author has used Che by accident. But in all cases, <laughs> you can say sir. Okay? So when, now get this, this is a searching, invaluable suggestion that you should remember. Uh, when a term is unique, it's possible some Lama has explained it. Okay? When a term is unusual, it's possible a Lama has explained it. It's not always the case, but it's possible. Then you put quotation marks around it. You go search for it with quotation marks around it. Because oh the Lama God. will have said, what does Densu mean? Right. You see, mm -hmm. the word Ser, She, She, J are all ways of saying the word Densu, mm -hmm. comma, mm -hmm. and that's it. So you go looking for <coughs> the word Densu, comma, and maybe some Lama has explained it, but I doubt it because it's absolutely so unusual. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I mean, let's go see. What, what? That was a word in my three year retreat. <laughs> it meant a whole range of sad, disappointed, depressed, <laughs> retreat not going well. I remember hearing something. Like <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what, what? I don't trust John Lincoln. I don't know. I mean, I can't <laughs> read what he's saying anyway, so you'll know whether or not that's meaningful to you. It's a, it's a Tsung Den. He's saying Tsung Den as far as Den. They rely on the same uh, sense object, sense power. Let's see if it comes. Near. Near. Okay. Mm. Near Mick. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's go see if anyone ever discussed it. Okay. And normally I would do this by myself, but you might as well learn about how to do the dirty work, right? Mm He's defining what I just told you, the fourth one I just told you. They have the same, they're resting. Uh, the mind and the mental function are relying on the same sense power to, to contact the outside world. They're both using the sense power to contact the out outside world. But that doesn't help us here. I don't think so. It's the same. Yeah. No. Hmm. This is, you know, this is the thing we just talked about. This is interesting. Oh, cool. Okay, I, now I remember. Uh, mm, 
Here it means parallel. Tinsel? Yeah. Okay. Uh, comparable. Here it means comparable. So if you say, listen, I have one of my eye, one of my eye perceptions is utilizing a sense power to contact the outside world, and the other one is comparable. The, oh, the, right, like so all five the dream, no, the dream one. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, right, right. So it's, it's similar, but not the same. That's all it means here. Okay? You can call it comparable. Okay. What's comparable mean? You can compare it, it's almost the same. Yeah, yeah almost the same, but not the same. Yeah. Okay? So that's what the sum here means. It doesn't mean they both use the same eye power, because the second one doesn't. It's even a contradiction of terms <coughs> to call the second one. To say that to say that the second one is utilizing the eye power is 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 wrong. It's not to contact the outside world because it's not contacting the outside world. Okay, so you you to call it same physical basis to contact the outside world is completely wrong here. It's the opposite. Yeah, it's not contacting the outside world. So it's comparable or comparable to a, an eye consciousness which is contacting the outside world. Okay, so... A mental image without any physical activity. Yeah. Right. The point is, uh, it's comparable to the, eye, to the eye consciousness, which is depending on a sense power. So we call it comparable depending. <laughs> okay? Because it's not depending on an eye power. <laughs> Got it? That's what he's saying here. Who is that? He's cool. Gelt of J. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Got it? Uh, got it? It's, it's the opposite of what it seems to be. Okay. Uh, when you perceive white or blue in, on the table, is your mind using the telescope of the eye faculty to see its object? You see, is it using your, the windows here? Mm -hmm. to see the outside world. Yes or no? Yes. Now, during a dream you're also seeing colors, mm -hmm. but you're not using, you're not relying on these sense powers, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So you're having a perception of color, which is kind of comparable mm -hmm. to the first one, but when you say comparable, it's, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Do you like my cake as much as your mother's? It's Comparable. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Okay. So it's very confusing. Because normally, ten tsungba means they use the same sense power. Main mind and mental function using the same sense power. It doesn't mean that here. Here it means comparable dependence. Meaning it's not 100% real. Okay, got it? All right. We spent the whole hour in one word. Uh, so if it were me, I would say, uh, I would call them uh, sense power of the eye. Uh, what do you say? It? I don't know. Sense power of the eye, which, has, which involves dependence. And the sense power of the eye, which is equ which is comparable. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Okay. And and an intelligent reader, I believe, should be able to figure it out from the two examples. You know. Oh yeah. During a, while I sleep, I do see. There's a big debate in the Abhidhamma whether those colors that you see in a dream are are form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're definitely not bembo. Right. What's bembo? Physical matter. Physical. Yeah, defined as. Uh, Every time you give me a right answer, I'm going to keep asking until you. Dulda dupa. Dulda dupa. Bembo tsenyi. Dulda dupa. Composed of atoms. Oh, right. Composed of atoms. Okay? So, suk and bembo, there's a debate about it. Okay, the, the, the stuff you see in a dream is soup, but it's not bumble. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not 
particulate matter. I like to call it particulate matter. It's not matter, mm -hmm. but it's form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's some debate about a Buddhist body also, but I'm not going there. Okay. Now we want to send you a you guys debate it later. Mm -hmm. Now I want to send you a day. I'll give you a definition of the which one? Ear. R. It has an R in ear. it. Oh yeah, ear. Yeah, I'll give you a definition of the R, ear power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. By the way, it's the same definition we had before. He just substituted one syllable. Oh, what's that? Okay, make in, instead of na. Instead of oh, make, yeah. he put na. Mm -hmm. It's it's res it's result uh, an awareness of of the ear, okay? Mm -hmm. Audio awareness to my mm -hmm. my my unique mm -hmm. factor included within a person. Chepe chane shakpa. It is established mm -hmm. relative to it providing the factor which triggers unique. its unique result, which is a, an audio consciousness. Okay. Okay. Uh, the definition of the audio, the definition of the ear power is that it triggers an, its unique result of an audio consciousness. It cannot, there's no crossover. Mm -hmm. It cannot trigger a visual consciousness. Okay. Uh, and, it, and it's part of a human being, doc. This doc, doc can means subsumed by a, a consciousness, subsumed by a, a person. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a faculty which is part of Adam's yeah, head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like ten percent of his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. it's it's what do you call it? install. Okay, installed kin. Okay, Chevy Chani Chabi Nangi Suk. It should be Nangi inside mm -hmm. form, mm -hmm. uh, and it's Dhamma. What's Dhamma? Is this the pure? Clear. Yeah, the it's transparent. Clear. Clear. It's yeah, transparent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Transparent. Okay. If, if you if you cut the if you cut the ear and you won't find it. If you cut the eye open, there there is an eye power. It is physical, but it's made of transparent material. You can't see it. Okay. By the way, prana is considered one step more subtle than that. In Buddhism, but isn't it considered pembo? prana, prana, sense power, outer stuff, three levels of subtlety mm -hmm. of physical form, which is why they say the real definition of a formless realm being is it has a, phys a subtle physical yeah, body. Yeah, mm -hmm. has has only a very subtle physical body, which is their prana, which is their chi. You cannot have That's movement right. of mind without chi. Therefore, even a person who's a purely mental being is not a purely mental being. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of very subtle form. So here you have prana, then you have the sense powers, which are grosser, but still you can't see them. Mm -hmm. If you cut open the eye, you won't find it. Uh, and you won't find prana either. Mm -hmm. And then there's the eye flesh, which is gross physical matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it? Three subtle, three levels. Mm -hmm. What text is that in? Is it considered tantra? Or? Mostly, it's in the discussion of uh, Lung Sam Jupa mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And it's in some discussions of form realm beings. Mm -hmm. a, a sensitive lama will, s will point out that formless realm beings do have some form. Mm -hmm. That's all. Transparent or clear? Transparent or clear? Same. Yeah, I mean, okay. Up to you. Clear, clear can be ambiguous. You see, is it a clear point or, you know? Yeah. Clear can mean visible, but n transparent. Visible, clearly visible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but transparent yeah. means. <laughs> you see, because the word clear is ambiguous. It can mean transparent, or it can mean with good definition. You know, the the the, the telescope is not clear. <coughs> you see, okay. Na wang la ye na ni ye te Adam. Na wang la ye na ni ye te. The uh, there's a vision of the sense power of smell into no, uh, it's got an R. Uh, oh, it's a, the ear again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This ear power can be divided into two. Mm -hmm. 
the same nasty division. Oh, that's right. We're still in the same one. Now we're just yeah, we are. Sorry, yeah. You can just plug in <laughs> different <laughs> syllables. Your translation, work hard on the first one mm -hmm. for meek, uh -huh. and then cop, p cut and paste it for the rest and change the organ. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I do that. Uh, you know, I, I don't try to reinvent the wheel every time. I go back, I, I copy it, I, I paste it in, and I change the... I change eye to ear and it's done and I go on. Mm -hmm. Okay, the whole course, thirteen. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I did with uh, macros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I automated it. <laughs> it was really cool. Yeah. It's like da 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 yimata. Are you telling me that? And then the, and then it would pause and I would type in you know blah 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 and then I hit it again and it would go because you said that. And I did the whole thing a weekend or something. It was, it was bizarre. Okay, uh, anyway, copy and paste because he did. Copy and paste because he did. Okay, all right. There's the, the one uh, where it's resting on a basis, and there's the one which is comparable to that. <laughs> okay, got it? Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Cut and paste. Yeah, okay, so it's the ear this time, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. So the nose wants. Yes. There's a definition of the no sense power. Okay, yes. there's a definition of no sense power. Yeah. It's not. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Right. Cut and paste. Okay, okay. Okay. Cut and paste. All right. Yeah, okay. I essentially did that already. Uh, J? J. What's J? L C E? No taste. Tongue power, what, yeah, the taste. Power. power of. That could be no taste. Taste. Uh, what's this word? He said something else yesterday. Like that. He said tongue power. Did he? Yeah. Uh, Gustatory <laughs> consciousness. Uh, <laughs> your your problem. You decide. Okay, it's it's a cut and paste. I'm not going to explain okay. it. Okay. Cut and paste. Same divisions. Now we got to Lou. We're making such good progress today. Consciousness of the body. <laughs> yeah, let's count it. You made more progress than anybody. <laughs> okay, the rest cut and paste, cut and paste, I mean, cut and paste. I got it all okay. done already. Anyway, I think. Now, this is going to be interesting. Hey, where's our people? Yeah, good. Get rid of I like. Oh, yeah. We're refuting. The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me the three sections. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wrong loop. No. Sh Shen loop. Good. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna kiss you. Except your wife is here. Okay. Uh, yeah. These are the classic three parts of a Buddhist presentation. Explain them. Uh, so we set off, or, yeah, so the other person comes and says something wrong, the other person comes up, and then we come back and refute them. Yeah, uh, that's the first one. Yeah, and, and then, then the, well, the second one we come back and then we refute them. No, second part, wrong loop. Well, we present our own system. Right? Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, With no that. argument, there's no, no argument. Refutation. The other guy's silent during the second part. So that's this part here. We just finished it. And okay. the third yeah, part. Yeah. And then we come back and we refute them. Usually what we just... Yeah. The definitions we just No, gave. it's kind of a cool democratic thing. In the third part, he gets a chance to come back. Uh -huh. He gets a chance to, to try to refute what our original complaints. So I, it's kind of cool. Only in a Buddhist teaching, you know, he gets to come back and, and take more shots at us. In the third. Right. right, he's still right. strong. He's still strong. Yeah, well, still. <laughs> Think of this as the he gets record. to come back and poke holes, try to poke holes in our rangla, in our system. Because the, the whole text started with us poking holes in his system. Right. Then we give our system, then he gets to come back and poke holes in our system, but he never succeeds, that's what you're saying. Because we're, so, <laughs> we're so smart. <laughs> okay, go. Translate, translate. Uh, suppose someone comes and says the following. Consider uh, the element of wind. Nice. Uh, but I warn you, nobody said element. Oh, uh, consider uh, wind. Yeah, consider wind. Yeah. Consider the wind. Uh, it, is an, it is an element? Jungyo? Uh, no, Jungyo means uh, a result of the elements. 
Oh yeah, real soul thing is a quality okay. element. A, a pro I'm saying yeah, 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 a product yeah. of the elements. Right. Mm. Okay. Wind is a product of the elements. By the way, notice he didn't say the element of wind. He just said wind. Okay, sneaky. Let's consider the wind. Okay. Okay. Uh, isn't yimbata uh, yimbata yimbata? I think it's going up. Yimbata. It's a product of the elements. It's not an element. Okay. It's a product of the elements. Why? It is. Some one of the, the seven, seven uh, tangible Good objects, job, tangible, mm -hmm. touchable objects, mm -hmm. which is a which is a which is a product of the elements. So we divide all tangible things into either elements or products of the elements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, then understood here is the answer Tangmadru by whom? Um, by us. By us. By us. Yeah. Yeah. Super yeah. No, it's not one of the seven. Mm -hmm. It's not like hunger, thirst, blah, 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 okay? Then he says, oh, you say Dhamma Dru? Lung Chen. Let's winning. consider winning again. Ching Gyur Ki Rek Cha Dung Yimba Ta. I guess it's one of the seven things you can touch then. No. Ta. It is uh, so. Yeah. It's it is so. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's right. not sarcastic. Uh, oh, okay. he's, he's saying, I believe it. It is one of the seven because it's yangwa. Oh, that's right, you can feel it. Yeah, because it's light. It's light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, light. You can feel it. Okay. Yeah, you miss it. Say now. And then, yeah. now, <laughs> when somebody says because it's light, you have two options in your answer. You can say, which means it's not light. Or you can say, which means, yeah, okay, I agree it's light, but that doesn't mean it's one of the seven. Uh, I agree it's light, but that doesn't mean it's one of the seven. Okay, got it? So which answer did we give? Yeah, I agree it's light, that doesn't prove your point. Uh, now another guy says, Chepala means, uh, Chepala means, uh, about that point that was just made, che, okay, made, about what was just made, mm -hmm. okay, or oh. about what just went down. Mm -hmm. It means about what just went down, okay, what, what was just said, about that. Konore comes, another guy comes and says, kaba yobar. We said makya. Yeah. So what's the opponent going to say? Uh, well, he's going to say, of course it is. Yeah, good. Yeah. Go up. Uh -huh. Of course there's a, of course it's true. If something is light, it must be one of the seven. Because lightness is one of the seven, man. <laughs> okay. This is the other guy talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of course it's a kyaba. Mm -hmm. If it's yangwa, it must be dun. One of the dun, one of the seven jungkyur. Jungkyur. Products of the elements. Okay, must be. Then what do we say? Oh, he's still going, okay? He's still going. He, he not only says it's necessarily so, he repeats the whole kyaba. And, and by the way, in a debate in the monastery, someone will say, kyaba long, kyaba long. Give me the kyaba, give me the whole kyaba. Don't say my kyaba, don't say kyaba. Give me, state the kyaba, kyaba long. And then sometimes you beat the guy on that. He's like, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, Kyama Chin Tam, Kyama Chin Tam. He said, Kyama Long. He's like, oh. uh, he didn't remember what he's saying. Okay. Kyama Long means, give me the whole Kyama. What is the whole Kyama? Uh, Yang Wan Yin. Here yeah. it is. It's Here it light. Is. Uh, it is light. If uh, not. Or if it is light, uh, then it must be one of the Good. seven. Good. Uh, because, uh, uh, by the way, Kanrung means some one of. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, one any of. One of uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, that's Hindi. That's him. That's the other guy. <coughs> yeah, it is, because it must be. If it's light, it must be one of. So here, there's a trick. Is there a difference between light and lightness? There is. Yeah. Lightness is one of the seven. I'm not sure that's where it's going, but uh, sometimes they go that way. Uh, okay. Now, then I say, Tamadu. 
I say I disagree. I disagree that if something is Yangwa, it must be a product of the of the elements. I disagree. This is us. Madub, okay. yeah. Madub. I disagree to your keba. Then he says, Madubna, Yangwa yena jungi gerecha duba kano yimbe kya ta? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. There is a keba. If it's Yangwa, it must be one of the seven because he's way up there now. <laughs> <laughs> because Yimata, <laughs> because Jung Gyuki Reksha Dumbo Dumbo Dembe Tsena, because when you count off the seven, Demba here means when you count them off, it's one of them. Lightness is one of them. If you if you were asked to to count off the seven, you would have to count one of them young. Yeah. Okay. If something is, if something is yangwa, it must be one of the seven products of the, of the elements. Because when you are asked to count the seven on a rosary, you will hit one called yangwa. <laughs> okay. And then we say. Sorry, no. We say we don't agree with your. Uh, yeah, it's over here. There's no, there's no. Mark there's no Not necessarily so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A person can can be asked to, to count the seven, and during the counting, they'll hit one called Yangwa. But that's, that doesn't prove that if something is Yangwa, it must be some one of the seven. Yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. I agree that when you're asked to count them, <laughs> you're going to hit one called Yangwa. I agree. But that doesn't prove what you're trying to prove. Mm -hmm. It doesn't prove that. What was our chit That if something is Yangwa, you made the Oh, wind. yeah, that's wind. right. Wind. wind. wind is one yeah. But that doesn't prove that wind is a product of the elements and not an element. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, yeah. got it? OK, yeah. it doesn't prove it. He's not letting it go. No. He's not letting it go, OK? Uh, if you agree, if I were to agree with you that wind is a product of the elements, if I were to agree with your tzawa, if I were to agree with your original statement, if I said, okay, you got me, man. You know, what can I say? You are blowing me away. You know, wind is one of the products of the elements. You got me. You got me. <laughs> You'd still be wrong. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. No, it's not a junggyo. No, it's not an. Uh, no, it's not a product of the elements, cause it is an element. Duh. Either or, honey. Okay, cause it's an it's an element. So you can't you can't go back there and agree. You can't give up and say, oh, yeah, you're right. It's a product of the elements. Because it's not. It's an element. Wasn't there original? Doesn't this have to be us talking now? Sorry. It is us talking. Yeah, yeah. We just switched, right? Yeah, we just switched. We switched. Okay. But wasn't yeah. the original? Sorry, then. Well, you, if you want to be fancy, yeah, you could say, right. it would have been wrong for me to agree with you. Yeah. Because uh -huh. it's not an, a product of the elements. Because it's an element. Yeah. Now we have to prove it's an element. Right. Ready? When you meet here. He says Tamadrum. He says here Tamadrum. And you gotta, you know, we'll work together. You gotta, you gotta plug in here all his comments. Mm -hmm. He, between this chair and this Madrumna, he says Tamadrum. Mm -hmm. I disagree that wind is an element. Mm -hmm. I disagree that wind is an element. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Madrumna? Oh, you disagree, honey? <laughs> Let's take wind. Let's take wind. Mm -hmm. Let's take wind. Jungwa Yimba. Tell? Of course it's an element. Jungwa Shiba. By the way, you see how short his sentences are? That's why his book's going to be so long. It's all white space. That's why, yeah. He's going to be the most famous of them all. Jungwa Shiba Kanu Yimba. Oh, you made this. Because it's any one of the four. Yeah, it's because it's one of the four elements. Then between here and here, what did he say? Uh, another time, right? Tamadru. Mm -hmm. He said Tamadru. And then we say, mm -hmm. oh, 
Ta Maduna? Maduna? Moon Church. Okay, Quinn. Let's take Quinn again. Do you want to become your Mata? So you're telling me it's one of no, the. It is so. It is so uh, one of the four, four elements. elements. Because yeah. it's loom. <coughs> because it's loom. Yeah. That's an illegal thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's an illegal yeah. thought. Okay. Uh, in the list of no, in the list of unacceptable uh, thoughts, it's in the list. Talk to Tommy Debekin. They're not separate things. Yeah. You can't use the exactly. subject as the reason. Yeah. Uh, take Allison. She's Chinese no, because she's Allison. <laughs> you know. It's not the first time he did that. By the way, <laughs> by the way, I'll, I'll give you. A, but I'll, let's go deeper. Uh, if I say take Allison, she's Chinese because she's Allison. Is it a legal reason or not? No. It's not a legal reason. Now I'll say it again. Take Allison. She's Chinese because she's Allison. Yeah. No, that becomes a legal reason. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's because it's implying something. You see, it's more information. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows. Yeah, the tone changed. So the tone. It's so the so in English, if the tone changes, it's legal. Okay, uh, it 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 means what I'm really saying is take Allison. She's Chinese because everybody knows she's Allison. Right. It's a, it's a different wording. By the way, as long as one single letter is different, it's legal. Hmm. Okay? If a single letter changes, it's legal. Uh -huh. If it's precisely the same, it's illegal. So if it was me, I would say, he said, because it's win! <laughs> <laughs> then it became legal. Okay? So because legal? the change of tone means, means what I'm really saying is, everybody knows it's win. That's a different reason. That's a different reason. So it's because it's a valid perception? Because if it's that type of valid perception, like no, by, by convention? No, the only, no, the only test is that the opponent has to agree to one and not to the other originally, and the one convinces him of the other. If my change of tone convinces you, it's a duck, it's a duck and duck. It's a different thing than Allison. And it proves what I'm trying to prove. Because the, the litmus test of a good reason is, does there exist a single person in the universe who might be convinced if I change my tone of voice? Mm -hmm. If there is, it's a talk young dog. It's a correct reason. Cool? Again, <laughs> try it with your wife. Uh, my boss used to do it. He would yell instructions louder and louder. <laughs> uh, until finally we accepted them. And then one day I realized the reason he's the boss is he can talk louder than any of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a one minute question. What? We just got started. So you would uh, make it, one minute. I mean, you would Ten minutes. fix it or you would let it be? I might put a footnote or something. Because yeah. as it stands, <laughs> it probably it probably contradicts something he's going to say later he about, about bad reasons. Yeah. Yeah. He's um, later in this text, when he gets to uh, his Tagrik, mm -hmm. he's going to say it's illegal, but he's been doing it. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. Let's go quick, because these are sexy. Yeah, sure, we can give Adam his 12 minutes now, if you want. Yeah, well, let's do that. Four of us have yeah, well, you leave. We'll have fun. Kachignare, takapo chechen. Okay, somebody comes along and says, let's take a white horse. Karo yimbata. Karo yimbata. <laughs> it's a color. A white horse is a color. Why? Okay, a white horse is a color. Why? Because it's one of the four primary colors. <laughs> then if we say, if we say, disagree, if we say, I disagree, then we say, take a white horse. Uh, it is too one of the four primary colors because it's white. White horse is white. So here you gotta get into whiteness yeah. mm -hmm. as opposed to white t lightness versus light. Yeah, exactly. It may be the that may be the yeah, okay. Is are you telling me a horse isn't white a white horse isn't white? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I disagree he's white. 
If you disagree, let's consider a white horse. He is too white because he's a white horse. <laughs> and then our answer is, Makyam. Just because a white horse doesn't prove he is white. Yes, he is white. Okay, okay. If you agree that a, a white, now this is cool. If you agree that a white horse is white, okay, ta kapu chuchen. Let's take a white horse. Kapu mayim bat, huh? No, he's not white. Kara mayim bat here. He's not a color. Okay. Madubna, if you disagree that he's not a color, ta kapu chuchen. Take that white horse. Kara mayim bat No, he's not a color. Sug mayim bat here. This gets interesting. And this gets into a Buddhist argument. Because the, the horse, the white horse, is not physical. Uh -huh. oh. oh, that's pretty cool. This is cool. This is cool. That's a big jump Why? If you think he is, if you disagree that he's not physical, let's talk about a white horse. No, he's not physical because he's a person. Demenducci. He's here. Physical, mental, those things which are neither physical nor mental, but which are changing, which is Katie. Katie's here. Okay? White horse is here. White horse's color is form. White horse's weight is form. White horse's outline is form. But white horse, that's a person. Adam is not physical. Adam is an idea that's put on top of physical and mental part. Adam's over here in between mental and physical, and so is horse. So that's a very deep thing that they're teaching 15-year-old kids in the monastery. Yeah. Okay, That's a very deep thing that they're teaching 15-year-old kids in the monastery. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are a concept. Okay? A white horse is a concept. It's, it's not the white horse's legs. It's not the white horse's color. It's not the white horse's mind. It's, a, it's an idea. Person. Person is an idea. It's a very beautiful. They kind of sneak it in. What's that, what's that joke, you know, red light, red light, red light? Green light. <laughs> How's that go? It's like when you're, you're, it's a kid. Kids keep crying. Yeah, keep crying. I'm not sure. You know, you know, you say red light and they stop. No, it's another thing. It's something where the answer is red light, red light, red light, red light. And then suddenly you change the question oh. and, they say, and they say red light again. Oh, yeah. And, and that's what's happening here. You're throwing a, a monkey wrench into the... He's like used to, oh, this is easy. White horse, you know, yeah, okay. Yeah, all the definitions are the same. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's easy. And then suddenly get hit with white horse is not a... It's not physical. A white horse is not physical. And then the kids are, their minds get bigger. Their minds expand, you know. Oh, yeah. Seven-year-old yeah. kids in the monastery. Yeah. What time is supposed to stop? Uh, one fifteen. The next the class time starts at one. Okay, we're going to one thirty-five, and you guys can leave if you want. Mm -hmm. well, we're Those who, That's yeah, I know. Don't blame it on me, though. No. They get locked out of the room. Oh, we can probably stick it out for a few moments. It's up to you. <laughs> uh, it wasn't my suggestion. Mm. <laughs> Uh, oh, take uh, objects of, uh, of awareness. Uh. Now there's a problem here, okay? Uh. And it's a bitch to translate. <laughs> Excuse me. I did, there's a lady present. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Couple <laughs> ladies present. <laughs> sheja chichen. Now, the word sheja, sheja can mean a knowable thing, mm -hmm. or it can mean knowable thing z. So be careful. Okay. Sheja chichen. Uh, it is, it is, I mean, technically you have to say it is an object of the eye. It is something you can see. Okay. This suk here, now there's a problem with suk, okay? Suk can mean the first of the five heaps, or mm -hmm. suk can mean specifically the object of the eye consciousness. And they're, 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 they're not the, what do you call it? Sophistry. You can, you, you can fake people out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does suk include sounds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. 
Not when it's the 18, not when it's one of the 18 dantes. You see, in that case, it's only the object of the eye. Form. No, it's oh, color and shapes. Yeah, it's color and shapes. Yeah. Okay? So anyway, there's two places here where he could have uh, committed, uh, what's the ambiguity, philosophical ambiguity? That's a good description. <laughs> there's a word for it. Latin? Sophistry. Oh, sophistry. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Is it sophistry? Mm, sophistry? Using terms, using the same term in two different ways. That's equivocation. Anyway. Use of okay. malicious arguments with the intent of deceiving. Okay, well, anyway, okay. Chechen Chichen Sugi Matel. Why do you say it's form? Because it's yip. Mm -hmm. Yip means the the outline of something. Mm -hmm. Shape. Okay. Madubna, uh, he says Shejas not yip. Okay. We say Shejas not yip. He says Shejas Chichen Yip Yim Matel. Okay. Uh, this is really funny. Okay. Uh, all knowable things mm -hmm. are shape because they are either flat or not flat. <laughs> this blows the kid's mind. It's like they're like 10 years old. You know? Because they are, they are either flat or not flat. And that's Flat, being okay. flat and not flat is one of the qualities of soup. Okay. <laughs> okay. When you list all the possible souks, wow. you have flat and not flat. But, but, but you have to say souk which is flat and souk which is not flat. Because if you don't say souk which is flat and souk which is not flat, if you mm -hmm. just say flat or not flat, well that applies to everything. Mm -hmm. Everything in the world is flat or not flat. The things that aren't flat are not flat. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they're physical. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it? Mm -hmm. But you see, this is the study of hierarchical stuff. And it's pretty cool to teach kids that. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it is either flat or not flat because it's not flat. <laughs> <laughs> now don't forget that flat and not flat were two of the qualities of a right. tangible form, mm -hmm. tangible things. It's flat. It, it was flat or bumpy. It was flat or bumpy. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, they don't say flat or bumpy. They say flat or not flat. Mm -hmm. When you say not flat, you're in trouble because not flat fits a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Trump. The the truth of Trump's actions is not flat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can say non-existent things are not flat. Right. right. Got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not flat. Because it's not flat. <laughs> now, that's not a... He's not using the same term, because the first one he said flat. Not, not flat. I'm sorry. Not flat. Because it's not flat. Aha. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. It's yeah, non-flat. Yeah. It's non-flat non -flat uh, non because it's not, not flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there he's using the same words, but different tone for sure. Okay. Uh, mm. Just because something's, just because something is not flat, doesn't mean it's non-flat. Does he use a different letter? Or like a uh, which could be bumpy. Oh. You see what I mean? <laughs> Meaning bumpy. The second one means bumpy. Okay? Just because the universe is not flat doesn't mean it's non flat. Non flatness. Okay? This is non flat. Okay? The whole universe is not flat. <laughs> it's, except for flat things. <laughs> Everything else is non flat. <laughs> that would make his, his long reason legal. Yeah, yeah we, exactly. Because he said he, to he toned it differently. Right. Well, he also he said he phrased it differently. Long, and then, but his reason was uh, long yimba, and long yimba is uh, not the no, same as long. No, no, no. You don't include technically. You don't include the yin or the yu as part of the tell. Okay, but we just did as part of the tell because he doubled the yin. 
If you double the yin, the first yin is part of the tell. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going for a little bit because it's fun and, and I feel like it's more exciting when the other people are gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel exclusive. We feel exclusive. Okay, Sawanduna, if you agree, send on my cap. Just because it's not flat uh, doesn't mean it's non flatness as, a, as, as one of the qualities of touch. Okay, got it? Just because it's not flat doesn't mean it's <laughs> non-flatness, which is one of the qualities of tangibles. It's mm. not, just because it's not flat doesn't mean it's the quality of not being flat. Got it? Mm -hmm. Non-flatness. Yeah. You okay? Okay. My cap. He says, Tsawanduna Sheja Chacham. If you agree that Sheja is Sukh, Okay, Sauraduna. Let's take Sheja again. Let's take all knowable things, everything in the universe. Let's take everything in the universe. Sumayim Bata. No, it's not. It's not form. Because it's Lupamayan. Adam. Lupamayan. A, a functioning thing. A working thing. Mayan. Oh, and that's not a functioning thing. Yeah. Okay. Now. Jigen <laughs> Shushima. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, got it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shaja yeah. Chichin. Uh, tell me why is Shaja not a Rupal? Uh, by the way, this is a principle of Buddhist logic that you're stuck with, and I'm sorry. You don't have a choice. You ready? Mm -hmm. When something includes unchanging things and changing things, when it's a group of changing things, if there's one unchanging thing and a group of changing things in Buddhist philosophy, that's a non-changing thing. It doesn't seem fair. It seems like the opposite should be true. Totally. Right. You know, if, something, if a set includes <laughs> changing things and unchanging things, then the set itself should be changing. And, and is. But that's not... I think you could see it the other way. I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. Okay, <laughs> look. Uh, Bring me. I can't get there. I have a ball called All the Things in the World. Yes. Okay. Let's think of it as a bubble. Okay. Inside the bubble, there's all this stuff. Some things are changing and some things are not changing. But the bubble? Mm. Yeah. What the is bubble is uh, the bubble itself. Yeah. What is changing? As a set. As a set called All Things. Does it change? Uh, so you're just talking about. Okay, okay, I, I, I'll, I'll support your system. Okay. All things are now almost all things as soon as something goes out of existence. So almost all things are. Oh. All things will now become almost all things. At 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 two o'clock, oh, right. all things will be almost all things because some of the all things will disappear it by on then. Depends the sets expanding or not. So. Only yeah, like so <coughs> all things are all things only once. Ten minutes later, it's almost always things, all things, because some of them are going to disappear. That's not true, though, because it's still all things. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't change. Yeah, but, but it's not that the banana goes out of existence. It's that it's no longer on this side of the table. It's but this side of the table doesn't change. change. Yeah, the it doesn't change. So it still has a banana on it. <laughs> 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 no, the table doesn't change. Okay, yeah. so the table still has a banana on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. The table is still what table? that which has a banana on it. The table changed. One, the table. You mean the thing that used to be a table? I mean the table with a banana on it. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the thing that used to be a table? This one, the T minus one. Oh, the thing T that used to be a table. So nothing changes because things just go out of existence. No, I didn't say that. You did say nothing changes because everything has a part of it that's unchanging. Everything doesn't change. That's what I'm saying. True. All things. If all things change because one thing stopped being, then all things wouldn't be all things anymore, and all things would be all things minus one thing. That's all. <laughs> all things is always all things. All things is always all things. Or else it wouldn't be all things. It'd be less than all things. I'm unchanging because I'm always Ben. Maybe Ben isn't changing. The computer's not changing because it's always the computer. Yeah. Nothing's changing because it's always what it is. 
You think you're Ooh. bad? You want to go a little further? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, but by the way, you're supposed to argue, and if someone argues, it's they're actually being a better Buddhist than the people who just say, let's go on. But I'm going to okay, say, let's, let's go argue. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Lopo <laughs> Mayan uh, Sheja, all things cannot be formed because they're not functional. They're not a functional thing. Then if, I, if you disagree that they're not a functional thing, then let's consider all things. No, they're not a functional thing. No, they're not a functional thing because they're dakpa. They're unchanging. What's the Sanskrit for dakpa? And what's changing? Okay. Somehow the Sanskrit is closer, you see, because it includes the English and the Sanskrit are closer. Mm-hmm. Tibetan puts a negative on the changing mm-hmm. things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Sanskrit and English put a negative on the changing thing. Mm-hmm. Unchanging. I'm sorry, unchanging thing. You say unchanging. Anitya. Same, same. Same. Mitapa. Anitya. Same. No, mitapa is the changing one. Right. Anitya. Oh, nitya means changing? Nitya means unchanging. Nitya is yeah, unchanging. Nitya, yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. So English is English is English is messed up now. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> but English is more correct because the unchanging is the is the megat, mainga. It's a negative. Okay. Nitya and takpa are negatives, even in Buddhism, even in those languages. Uh-huh. See what I mean? Anyway, takpa in Buddhism. Maduna, if you disagree, Sheja Chichen. Uh, let's consider thing all know all things. Takwa yin ha Shejas are unchanging. Sheja dan chik yin Because it's the same thing as a... Because, uh, because to be a Sheja is to be a Sheja. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 just wildly convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Because Sheja is itself. Okay. Is the is the real because of Sheja is itself. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay, let's go a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> By the way, we just finished a major topic. <laughs> We're on to another topic of the Dura. Which is Yuto Meto. Uh, okay. Yuto Meto. It's a switching between uh Perceiving that something exists and perceiving that something doesn't exist, okay? Yeah. But the S on the token implies... It's a, a correct realization. Accurate. Yeah. It's accurate. Okay. Kaching nari. Somebody says, <coughs> If there exists a correct perception that it exists, <coughs> then there must exist an accurate perception that sees that it's a changing thing, a functioning thing, okay? If there's a perception that exists in the universe which is correct and which perceives that a thing exists, Mm -hmm. then there must exist a perception in the universe which perceives that that thing is a functioning thing. Can you think of a, can you think of a counterexample? Mm. I'll say it again. (laughs) If there's a correct, if there's a correct perception in the universe, that that thing exists, then there must be a correct perception in the universe that that thing is a functioning thing. Uh, yeah, any direct, any correct perception could be direct or indirect. Any correct perception of a negative thing, of the okay, or, or sorry, of an unchanging thing, will will be a counterexample here. Do they accept the direct perception of a lack of a monkey in this room? I mean, do you see that directly in this school? Without a yoga I, I think so. Perception? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think so. But doesn't space function? Like but it's like well, that's an old debate. Uh, there's a debate that function. Uh, there's a debate that space functions to give things a place to be. Right. Are you seeing with your eye the lack of monkey? Is that an eye sense? Well, <laughs> no, it's illogical. Okay. No, no but... I just asked if you can see it directly. 
I don't think so. You can't see a lack directly. I don't think so. It's a yogic perception. Yeah, because it's unchanging. Okay. <laughs> what I've heard teachers say also that emptiness is gives gives things a a place to exist. Who would say that? Oh, gives them a place to be projected onto, right? Yeah, probably 16 or 17. Okay. Uh, exaggeration for effect. Sheja uh, Chechen. Why did he take Sheja? Is the perception of Sheja a perception of Ngopo or, or a non Ngopo? Is Sheja a Ngopo or a non Ngopo? It's a set which includes unchanging things. There's a clue. Huh? Oh, no. so, so it's yeah, any set which oh, includes a single unchanging sorry. thing is unchanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In sorry. this, in the rules oh. of the game. Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, Sheja <laughs> Chen. Oh. So, be careful with the Yopa here. It means there must exist a correct perception which sees that it is a functioning thing. Okay. So, you got it. When you translate this, in your mind you have to think about that thing. About that thing, kyula, okay, understood, kyula, never stated, kyula, about sheja, then there must exist a correct perception which, which understands correctly that it is a changing, functioning thing. Okay, got it? Because he said, anytime there's a perception of anything, it perceives that it's a changing thing. So the counterexample, mm. pick anything that's not functional, but which exists. You have to care, be careful and say that, but which exists, which is like emptiness, s empty space, my financial situation. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> so uh, consider. Uh, are you, okay, then are you saying that the correct perception, which sees that things are there, all things are there, is seeing something which is functioning? And we say, why do you say that? And we say, because it's a correct perception that something is existing. Because you said, mm -hmm. if there's a perception that it exists, there must also exist a perception that it's functioning. Mm. Got it? Which is not true, because some things don't function, like the tax system in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, Kebuke, you already agreed to that. Madugna, uh, if you disagree that there's a correct perception which, which sees that it exists in general, let's go over that. Let's, let's talk about that. Sheja Chichen, let's take all things. Of course, there does exist a correct perception which realizes that it exists because it exists. Mm -hmm. It exists. Right. Now, what's the kyaba there? Mm. Well, that if something is not, not existent, it's not a correct perception? For kyaba, just go back from the cause. Go back from chir. If it's yopa, mm -hmm. if it exists, there must be a tsema which sees that it's yopa. Yeah, it must be correct. Is that the case? Do you feel that's the case? Mm -hmm. if, if an object exists in the universe, is it always the case that there is a perception that realizes that it exists? Yeah, exactly. In a universe where you have a single omniscient being, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? In, the, in a universe where you have a single omniscient being, to be is to be perceived as being. Got it? Okay. Madhubna, now he's going to say, Sheja, he's going to go easy way. I, I disagree that Sheja exists. Okay? Ah! Sheja Churchen. Yeba Yembata, it is too an existing thing. Shidu Bechir. Because it can be established by a correct perception or something. So she do, but you're going to have to work so on that. You need yeah. one being to establish Sheja as a yopa. As a yopa. Oh. 
bad. Yeah, in, in general. Right. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Jesse, what's your favorite thesaurus? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, and you can't find it. Uh, it was a little thesaurus that someone gave me on my eighth grade graduation. I don't know. I found it, actually. You found it for me or something. Did I? <laughs> I found a lot of things. It <laughs> fell apart. I had it. It fell apart. I used it all through college and all through my writing career. And I forget the name of it. Um, it's a brilliant thesaurus. It's a little paperback. Uh, why is it going out, you think? I paid too much for it. Yeah, uh, by the way, Jiggy, I'm thinking to cancel my, uh, I'm thinking to cancel my, uh, they're charging me a lot of money for this thing, for this internet I don't use. Oh, yeah, I do not use it. I don't use it at all because it's so terrible. The minute I cancel it, I'm going to need it, I know. Uh, okay, I can't find it. I, I th- okay. Uh, she drew bait sheets. So I want to do it, if you agree. Uh, if you agree that there is a correct perception which sees that it is a functioning thing, okay, if you agree that there exists a correct perception that all things is a functioning thing, okay, let's consider all things. No, there's not any correct perception which understands that it's a functioning thing because because all things is not a functioning thing. Okay, this all, the set called all things is not a functioning thing. Hmm. Then if you say tamadru, if you say I disagree that it's not a functioning thing, which you guys were kind of doing, shejo uh, Let's consider. Let's consider. Let's consider sheja. Okay. Knowable things, right? Mm-hmm. All things is, is not a functioning thing because it's mm-hmm. Because there is no functioning. No, mm-hmm. is a noun. No mm-hmm. is a noun. Okay, it's the opposite of mm-hmm. uh, Now, mm-hmm. I warn you. Okay, this is a warning. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. can mean non existent, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm can also mean existing but not functional. Okay, got it? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. man can mean non existing thing, but the same word, mm-hmm. man can mean something which does exist but doesn't perform a function. <coughs> which do you think it is here? Um. Is he saying all things don't exist, or is he saying all things as a set doesn't function? All things don't exist. Yeah. yeah, as a set don't function. Yeah, that's all. Okay. If you disagree that all things is not a functioning thing, take all things. It is to a thing which doesn't perform a function because it's, sorry, because it can't do anything. It can't do anything. Okay? It doesn't do anything. Okay? If you say it doesn't necessarily follow, but it does necessarily follow because that thing which cannot do anything is the definition of a non functioning thing. Okay? So just be careful with mumi. Okay? Here it obviously means it exists, but it doesn't function. Okay? Got it? And there's only a few things, space, okay. emptiness, the lack of an elephant in this room. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are there any other things? <laughs> hmm? Are there any other things? Any, any negative, any lack. lack of any Is there any oh, other things? No. simple absence. Yeah, there's nothing other than megox. Well, and categories, you said. Yeah, but so that's a megox now. Like, like, <laughs> like Mopo. Yeah. Mopo's not a Mopo because it's a set. No, it's not a set, which is a Megot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Man. <laughs> if a bag contains things which are 
the absence of something and things which are the presence of something is the bag of presence or an absence. <laughs> no, the concept of the bag. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right, because it's uh, kind of the same way the concept, concept of the horse. So all concepts that aren't changing? Um, so I don't know, maybe facts aren't changing. Okay. Depends oh, on what school you're in. The fact that the sky is blue, right? Mm -hmm. Does that change? Well, it changes oh, if certainly, you're on a different planet. Certainly changes. The fact it changes. It does. <laughs> Whether it uh, that's one of those things that, in my opinion, it can go in and out of existence, but it doesn't change. As long as yeah. it's around, it doesn't change. Yeah. So it can go out of existence. Yes. Yep. Like tomorrow, it might not. If the blue. sky were destroyed, uh, the sky, the sky, or the or sky is blue, wouldn't be here okay. anymore. Has it always been blue? No. Has it always been blue? No. So that fact is getting older. <laughs> no, don't go there. <laughs> 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 the aging of the fact is changing. Okay, so the fact is aging. <laughs> it's aging is changing. I tried this argument. <laughs> I tried this changing. argument in the monster. It didn't yeah, work out. The fact's age is changing, not the fact. It didn't work yeah. out. The fact's age. So only its qualities are changing. It's not changing. But My it's opponent was saying the that the enlightenment of all beings is the same. <laughs> I said, no, some are older, some are younger. I agree. Okay. It's true. I didn't, but nobody believed me. Well, they're wrong. Yeah, it's because they don't want to contradict their holy scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> I figure Jetson Kappa can't talk me out of anything unless I know when I disagree with him. He's probably only happy when someone disagrees with a few things. Yeah, because he, he, he 